All right, guys. Last few days, I've I've gotten behind on my skinning. This is the two beaver that Kinsley and I caught, and then the five beaver that Brandy and I caught, and then the last two days, I've had two more beaver. A uh, couple of the small ones I've already already gotten the caster and the tail off of, and uh, and dispose of them. And I've got an otter over here, a couple of coons, and a skunk. I've already skinned the skunk, got him here, getting ready to scrape him. Uh, I've skinned one of the raccoons, and then this is the second raccoon. And I thought I would show you guys how how I uh, skin a raccoon. Oh. Sorry about that. That was my, my phone. I've got this Bluetooth speaker here, and I'll, I'll uh, kick on uh, iTunes or one podcast, and I'll listen to those while I'm out here skinning. But anyway, uh, what I've got, I've just got this coon hung up here by one leg on my gamble. And just to show you my skinning machine, guys, basically I've got this, I've got this frame built with the winch mounted on top. And then down here at the bottom, I've got these two clamps where once I get this animal skinned uh, past his waist, I can hook him into these clamps and that'll help me pull the skin the rest of the way. This thing works great on on all the animals i use it on on basically everything from from cows to raccoons the skunks i just pulled him down by hand but uh but it works great and i'll show you guys how that works in a little bit but basically on a raccoon i'm just gonna hang him up here by by one back leg and then i'm gonna come in with my knife right here at the opposite ankle and i'm gonna cut a straight line from inside ankle to inside ankle all the way across And that's going to be my opening cut. Other than splitting the tail, this is going to be the only, the only cut that we're going to make on this animal. And uh, go all the way up to that inside ankle there. All right. So now, now that I've got that done, I'm going to take a sharpening steel. And guys, I didn't. I saw this on another YouTuber's channel and started doing it, and it, it makes a world of difference. But basically, I'll come right in here right in here on the top part of that hip, right behind that back leg, and I'll shove this steel between the skin and that leg. Try that again. So I'll come right in here, just right behind that hip, shove that steel in there, but I can feel it with my, my other hand. I can feel it behind that leg. And I'm just gonna turn, come and turn it. Circle it around behind that leg. Work it through to the other side. We're gonna come out that other side. So we've got that steel between the skin and the back side of that helm. And at this point, all I'm gonna do is pick Pick that up a little bit. I'm going to grab both ends of that steel and I'm going to pull down. And that separates that skin from that whole entire back leg. I'll just take my knife now and I'll finish, I'll finish cutting around that ankle. Just cut that, cut that all the way off and that's, that leg's out of that hide. So now, just back it down. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to hook the other back leg in our gamble. The one we just skinned, we're going to put it in there and we're going to let this one out, loosen it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our steel, go right there to the back side of that, that helm, work that steel and you can see it, see it pushing the skin out on the other side. Work it around. All the way behind that leg and then it come out the other side right on the front of the leg same thing at this point just grab both sides of that steel and pull down and that loosen gonna loosen that leg out now i'm taking up both legs back up to my gimbal
I'm gonna drop him down a little bit so I can make my cut on this tail. We're just gonna take this tail and we're gonna shove our knife point in about, I don't know, about a quarter of the way down and we're gonna run that knife right up beside the anus and we're just gonna continue that cut beside the anus all the way up, connecting with that cut on the back side of the ham. Same thing on this side, just go around the other side, run that knife all the way up and that's gonna loosen, loosen all that up. Now at this point, I'm just going to trim, trim some of that down to where we can get in behind that tail on both sides. I'm just going to bring that skin down to the bottom side of that tail. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take our, our steel and we're going to run it right behind that tail between the, the meat and the skin and we're going to pick it up and we're going to pull down now right here guys don't pull too hard because you're only going to be able to pull it down to where you've made that split on that tail if you try to pull it down past that split it's going to rip that rip that tail off there so at this point i'm just going to loosen up loosen that up a little bit where we got it stretched and guys, to pull my tail out, I'll just use a key here. So I'm just going to put that key around that tail. I'm going to twist it sideways where I can grip my fingers in here on both sides of it. I place my other hand on the, I'm going to ring that tail with my finger and thumb, and I'm going to push on that hip and pull on that tail skin. And that, that, gets that tail or that bone out of that tail. Now I'm just gonna continue this, this cut that we originally made. I'm gonna take it all the way to the tip and open that tail all the way up. So whenever we flush him here in a little bit, we can, we can clean what membrane and meat's left in there and let that tail dry good. Just all the way down to the tip. All right, now I'm just gonna finish, finish and loosen it up this belly side of this. All right, and this is a, this is a male coon here. So what I wanna do, if it's a female, I'd just loosen it up good around to the belly. On this male, I wanna loosen it up all the way to the tip of his penis bone. I'm gonna come in here behind that penis and I'm gonna come right down to the tip of it and I'm gonna loosen that skin off there. Now that, come around, just loosen up whatever may be stretched. And I'm gonna lower him down, place both back legs where we cut around that ankle into these clamps. Clamp that side down. We'll come around here and we're gonna clamp this side down. Gonna pull that high. All the way up until we see his elbows come out. Let me spin him around so you guys can can see see the front side of it. Okay, now I've got him spun, spun around here to the front. So we're gonna stretch him. Right here's his two elbows. As soon as, as soon as his elbows pop out, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take my sharpening steel and I'm gonna come right in here where the top part of that arm connects with his neck. And you can see our sharpening steel pointing through there. We're just gonna push it through. Do the same thing that we did on that back leg just gonna pull it down guys i left the front feet on this cone uh if you want you can completely cut the front front feet off and that leg will completely pull through that skin so we lift him on this time so we're just going to take and and wring that skin that's left on there now we can pull that
We're just going to lift that foot on. We're just going to cut that fur off there. Same thing on this side. Just take your knife and, and ring right around that skin that's left. You can pull his foot completely out of there. And take again and, and loosen up where, where we've got the membrane stretched. And we're just going to work that cut all the way around that head. And we're going to take and we'll just keep that pulled tight. We're going to keep that skin pulled tight while we continue to work to work that head out of that fur. Yeah. And we're just going to work that around. Right here we're to the ears. I'm going to cut down into the skull. Cut through that ear. And then come behind it and loosen it up. Come around to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut deep behind that ear. Come in here and loosen that up. Just continuing, continuing to, to cut along that line. All the way down to the tip of the nose. And pull a little tension, tension back on it. Do the same thing. Just work that. Continue working that head down to the eyeballs. All right, right here's the beginning of the eyes. You just want to tilt your knife blade in. Try to get behind that eyelid. <coughs> just like that. Now we're going to twist it around here and get this other eye. Just tilt our knife blade a little bit toward the skull instead of the fur. And we're just going to work that, work that loose behind, behind this eyelid. All right, we got both of those loose. We're just going to continue working. There's our jaw. There's our jaw. Guys, at this point, if you want, you can use that jaw as leverage. Stick your finger in there. Pull down on that skin. Same thing on this side. Stick your finger in there and use that lip as leverage. Continue to work that skin down to the uh, tip of the nose. When you get to the tip of the nose, just turn your knife blade down and cut through that, and that releases that top skin. This bottom lip, we're gonna we're gonna end up trimming it whenever we uh, whenever we put the fur up. So we're just gonna cut that completely off. And there's our there's our skinned raccoon. Now, guys, I've got this sink over here, and what I like to do after I get them skinned, turn them back fur side out. Feel for any cockle burrs that may be behind their ears or under their arms, any kind of burr. If you've got any burr on them at all uh, when you're uh, fleshing, when you're in the fleshing process, you'll catch that burr and it'll rip a hole in the skin. So I just like to come over here and, and rinse that animal off. Any mud, anything that's on that fur, I can clean it up a little bit right here. This raccoon's actually pretty clean. Uh, most of the time they've got a lot of mud and dirt and stuff on them. Now that I've got that fur washed, I'm gonna take and wring it with my hand, wring that water out of it. And again, right here's right here is a little burr of some kind. We're just gonna work that, work that out of there. Just some, some dirt sticking in there. But anything that you feel in that fur you want to get it out so you don't make a hole in it later and i was thinking hang it on this nail and let it let it drip drip dry until i'm ready to uh, flesh it in a little bit 